The way, book is like, called Science Tology. Right? <laughs> yes, Science Tology. Science Tology. It's about a character named Science Tology. <laughs> Stick around, make a sound. There's more dumb people town. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. It is so easy to get caught up in what everyone else needs from you and never to take a moment to think about what you need from yourself. Yeah, therapy can give you the tools to find more balance in your life so you can keep supporting others without leaving yourself behind. It's so key. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash DPT to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash DPT. Do it today. Hey, Townies, welcome to another episode of Dumb People Town. Population Population Ackerman. Scotty Hot Saucerman. Am I a citizen? Yes, Yes. of course. You're an alderman. You're (laughs) Scott Alderman. Dude, you you hold a special place. You just got your green card. What was so it what like? What special play? Well, was I would say probably like 13 years ago or so, you said to these two dudes, come do a podcast over where I'm doing mine back on a yeah. poker table in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah we were. A and poker table. That's right. We It almost was. We were the sister podcast to comedy Death Ray, Death Ray, Ray which time. became yeah. comedy. You bad guys bad. were the first show that we wanted to come over. And so then so and I touched. started interning at UCB and right? said, do you guys ever do interns at Earwolf? And you said, talk to Jeff. You're from Chicago. He's going to like that. Did and I then. Say that? <laughs> No. <laughs> no, you're gonna Definitely. like no. that. You you're were like, you were like, hey, Jeff Walker and I usually meet here before Comedy Bang Bang, so you should talk to him. Mm. And I talked to Jeff, and then I helped build the microwave stand at Earwolf as an intern, <laughs> and started That's working. Your legacy, That's yeah. Really it's, really I hope honest. it's still there. <laughs> and then uh, started working with these guys because of that. Yeah. You, so th- you are a facilitator you're an architect of, this. of many things. Yes, man. I I cannot take any uh, credit for your success, but I, I I'm glad that you still remember. Oh. Listen, I know, you've, I know you've created people in your day, but I think the creation of <laughs> one, this, I think, one, one, one I think the creation of what here and might be. you didn't be, even have to have sex to do it. <laughs> oh, yes. You didn't wow. have to. <laughs> you guys just mind melded that baby. Oh, well, <laughs> it was scientific. <laughs> it really was. And you know what? You did a beautiful job. Well, you job. know the, you know the stream here. It's just you know dumb the story, story here. Dumb, yeah. World's still dumb. That's the good news since we were way what? back. It might yeah, even no, be it. dumber, yeah. Scott. It uh, might even be dumb. And I've got the first story since you did it last time. All right, here we go. Here's the headline. Okay. Uh, this is sent in, by the way, by Zach at Z dot underscore MKE. Thanks. Milwaukee? Or Mike. Uh, that's that airport code. Mm. All right. <laughs> yeah. okay. MK. MK is the... MKE. 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 Yeah. Yep. Man charged with burglarizing Brewers Clubhouse following game in September. Wait, so he hung around till after the game? Let's get into it. Huh? I mean, I know you're a big sports fan. So. <laughs> Do you uh, think I, the Brewers are a... Baseball, baseball team. So, yes. Love it. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but to be fair, do you let's think- start with the fact that the name of the baseball team involves brewing beer. Yeah. yeah. So we're in a culture of alcohol. You're, you're, oh you're asking for something crazy to happen. You're begging for I know beer. this because of a bit I do about Wisconsin, and I'm pretty sure I'm remembering it correctly. Of the 50, 50 most drunkest counties in the United States, 39 of them are in Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. That, and nine of the top 10 are in Wisconsin. You know, you can't buy... I, uh, I lived there, which was very weird because I was just in Wisconsin on tour. Mm-hmm. And I said, this is the first time I've ever been in Wisconsin. And someone raised their hand and said, you lived here for a while. <laughs> That's how drunk you were, <laughs> Scott. So Scott. I lived in Milwaukee, but you could not buy alcohol after... Uh, it was like Midnight. seven or nine or, or yeah, something there's different, like that. Yeah. So they it stocked was, up at so like, like three. Even Milwaukee as a city is like, we got to cut these people off. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, right. We need it. Like, we know, we what's know what you're happen. capable of. Right. You got to cut them off. Even right. animals. Well, good Brewers thing for fans. people in Wisconsin. A lot of them are believe they believe in stockpiling. So uh, um, also so like so the idea that like we're Brewers fans, the team. No, we just like the people who brew the beer. Right, we're right, fans of their stuff. But this dude, do you think the logic here is. Game's over. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whatever they left in the dugout, they obviously don't want. That's right. Dan game's over. My so game's much, just beginning. It's so much more than that. I'm okay, just going to take it. it. Uh, why do Stephen it? Avery's father? I just want to drink it. <laughs> All right. After passing out in the bushes outside of American Family Field. He's not even at the game. Well, I mean, he is. But well, he may not, have been at the game. He may, but He might have either been to the game or... Never he, made it in. I mean, yeah. do you... Is this like the Homer Simpson meme where he just yeah, 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 disappears yeah, yeah. into yeah, the bushes? Yeah, only probably more of a fall. <laughs> he just fell like, into the bushes. I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Here. But I love... That's that they, my favorite they video. Na- the they had to girl. name the stadium American Family Field just to try to encourage less drinking. Guys, well, guys, <laughs> also... American Family Field. 
I talk about this on stage too. Do you know what the legal drinking age is in the state of Wisconsin? 15 oh, no. with a parent. It is 14 years old. No, God, with a wow. parent. Daniel. You can drink in, and it's not even parent. I said, can you drink me. in bars? That Any way? bar wow. in the state. No, you can drink with a legal guardian, which means it doesn't even have to be your parent. It can be the Only uncle the nobody party. trusts. Your it Boy be, Scout leader. It could be your. You could be your on very a, like a handsy lake Boy trip. Scout. Because a this is how it works. Priest. I've seen it firsthand. You could be on a lake trip with your friend. Yep. Like you're both 14 years old, and their as long as their parents are in the bar, you can drink. You can go up to that bar and order whatever you want. This Isn't this is wild? It's, it's insane. This is America. This shouldn't, is Wisconsin. Shouldn't things be legal if people want to do it? <laughs> I don't know. I guess. Here's what it is. Okay. <laughs> After passing out in the bushes outside of American Family Field, a man allegedly made his way into the Milwaukee Brewers Clubhouse. Mm -hmm. How do you do made that? His made way. his way. How can yeah, you make that, your... This is the interesting part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where he stole electronics, a credit card, team memorabilia, and other merchandise, according to the charges filed by Milwaukee. From the dugout. If you District. make Who has your their way credit card into, in the dugout? No, not the dugout. The clubhouse. If oh. Okay. Make your way into the clubhouse. You should be able to keep everything you take. Yeah, you should be like supermarket way. suite. He made his way. <laughs> he made his way. <laughs> People say we don't make things in America. He <laughs> made. His I hope way. when the cops came in and go, "What are you doing, buddy?" He's like, "Making my way." Making my way <laughs> in the world today. It takes, it takes everything you got. It actually takes very little. None of these doors are locked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Justin Blodorn. <clears throat> oh, that's great. Justin Blodorn. 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 He's a real Blodorn. Which, mm -hmm. by the way, is what you do when they give you an alcohol breath. breath yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put blow your door. mouth on the blow mm -hmm. door and give us a blow. All right. That's what a lot of uh, Trekkies want to do. <laughs> oh, that is great. Scott, Scott Hucker for the win. Scott his, his name is Michael Dorn. Is that right? Never mind. Okay. So he, was like yes, that was. <laughs> he was charged with a felony burglary on December 14th. So this happened recently. Holiday according, season. Yeah. According to the court records. According to the criminal complaint, the man attended the September 8th doubleheader. Never forget where you were on 9 8. Okay. Um, Never Never between forget. San Francisco Giants and the Brewers with his roommate and his roommate's father. So it's shocking this guy's not married. You got <laughs> oh, the game roommate and roommate's father. You got a lift home? Right. Um, we're going to say you, you okay to get home? Sure, yeah. So sure. Just father leave left him there? this guy. Yeah, just <laughs> of left course. Yeah. Just left him there. Roommate's father. That's a very yeah. not friend. That's a specific relationship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. How do you know this guy? <laughs> roommate's father. <laughs> <laughs> Roommate's father should be the name of a cologne yes. or a sitcom. <laughs> Roommate's uh, father. What do you? What's that new scent you're wearing? It's called Roommate's father. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? A little distance in your relationship. Uh, the father. Milwaukee <laughs> Journal Sentinel reported that he drank at least how many beers? Okay. Okay. Did Dan, Justin this is your neighborhood? And Scott apparently lived in Milwaukee. Yeah. yeah. Don't ask him. I'm gonna guess one. <laughs> you know what? He might have said that. I had one beer. I had one beer. One beer. That's beer. not that. Wait, so a beer. This is after a double header. This is after a double header. And How this many? is before the pitch clock. Yes, yes. yes. before yes. the so pitch clock. Games okay. took a long time. Four and a half then. hours. Yeah. It, what? What is like the intermission in between? Yeah, what probably is like an hour, hour in between. Only an hour. No, it's got to be more than that. Is it people to cool down. Two hours, maybe. at least ninety. Do people stick around? Do you buy tickets and you get to see both? Yes, yes. I guess. So what do you do? Like it's probably only it, it can it can't be like a three hour intermission because no, everyone well, would go i think home. it's only an hour it's I an really hour do. okay so we're talking about four, eight hours four yeah. hours for each game probably. eight or nine hours yeah nine eight, hours nine how hours. many beers i'm gonna go with the number of dresses in my favorite film 27, yeah. 27 yeah. Love it. in your favorite film. <laughs> i'm gonna go 11 11 beers from dan uh, he definitely had like 20 20 beers but is this what i mean this is what he said i think i mean he's, one of you is one beer off. Okay. Oh, okay. Now we all have the chance now to change it by, by 21. 21. 10. 26. 10. All right. One of you is right now. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> the answer. We could have all gone the wrong way. Yes. One of you is two years old. <laughs> no, all right. Uh, everyone shout at your ham radios. Okay. Justin Blodorn, uh -huh. according to the Milwaukee Journey Sentinel, Drank ten beers. There we go. Dan, Dan there ten beers. That's it. <laughs> ten. I mean, that's a lie. Much. It's an obvious lie. Here it is, Dan. Here it is. He's saying. 10, yeah, he's. It, but it really is. Yeah. It's probably like twenty-seven. 27 I think yeah, that's so. really what. It, all right. Ten beers. Woke up what? in the bushes and re-entered the stadium 
by pulling a door until it opened up. <laughs> so this is like January 6th rules of it how you make your way yeah. into the yeah. Capitol. Yeah, so well, how'd you get in? I pulled a door until it opened up. Right. Hey, should we fix that door over there? <laughs> nah, no one's going to pull and it. What are they going to do? Just like pull then, it? he's on just an unsupervised tour. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. He's just Blodorn then ended up in the Brewer's Clubhouse where he began taking items within the locker room according to the Milwaukee. Again, this is so much like January 6th. He took a piece of Nancy Pelosi's mail. It was weird. Yeah. Uh, this is what he took. He was uh, a, a Brewers strength coach. That's the wrong guy you want to take. Shit yeah, you from. definitely don't want to take anything yeah. with the strength. Coach. Stated yeah. that he was missing a work backpack, a laptop, two iPods. <laughs> <laughs> one for each year <laughs> that is by the way the dream to have a work backpack and a home backpack wow honey where's my <laughs> where's my home where's backpack? my work backpack nope, you're wearing it I, I need to watch the game where's my home backpack <laughs> not the gym one no where's, <laughs> where's my fun backpack where's my travel backpack it's by my work backpack nope that's my home backpack what are you doing <laughs> what are we even we doing we need to organize the backpack I need to find my two iPods <laughs> I don't want to use my bedroom backpack where's my two iPods and- a wall Walkman. A Walkman? This guy's insane. This guy's from the 80s. Two pairs of headphones, a passport. Yeah, if you're going to have two iPods and a- one Walkman, have three <laughs> headphones. Dude, a passport. Agreed. A passport. A passport. Where Uh-oh. is he going? Two pairs of sunglasses. A passport is a person who doesn't have a license. A pass- two pairs of sunglasses. Someone's like going in disguise. A credit to- card and personal notebooks and calendars from his office. Calendars. Calendars. Well, if he's got an iPod, he does not have an iCal. Yeah, yeah, let's just be honest about this that. Guy, passport is to go to Canada, though, right? Is it? Is it? Oh, I bet you're right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a great like call. That is a great yeah. so logical call. It's got to go in the work. Makes total back. sense. Uh, manager the Craig Council. Yeah, we yeah. got to go play <laughs> against Toronto next week. Mm-hmm. You know, he needs a passport. Uh, Craig Council also had a jersey and shaving kit vanish from his office. That's how drunk Half this of those guy things is. make sense. Why doesn't sense. this make the actual list, though? Like, why <laughs> is it set to. He also had this. Yeah, yeah. shaving kit. Shaving kit. That's a good thing to steal when you're drunk. Yeah. Hey, whose shaving kit is that? It's Craig Council's. How can you prove so it? So far, the I only can't. thing that makes sense is the jersey. Craig right. Council's jersey. Yeah, in the Craig Council jersey. And some would be like, you I just g- bought that, didn't you? Yeah. No. If that was the only talk, I bet they'd let him keep it. Yeah. The Brewers? The Brewers would That's let him keep true. it. In addition, a Brewers equipment manager said that a game-worn hat, an autographed baseball bat, a 45-year anniversary 1982 Brewers. Wow. When they played the Cardinals, signed bat, a replica World Series ring. And this oh my is God. the crazy Replica. one. And keys to the Arizona Spring Training Facility were all taken from this. <laughs> That's <laughs> unbelievable. So we know where this guy's going <laughs> with his passport. He might go to Mexico <laughs> oh, and then come back up to Arizona. He's going to party in the Arizona facility. <laughs> Detectives eventually learned that two Brewers game-issued jerseys were also taken from the team clubhouse, along with a small locker room bag full of baseballs and pitching training devices. Okay, he took so point. much stuff, this has been like four sentences of like, <laughs> he, took <laughs> yes. he, he took this stuff. Yes. He also took this stuff. Also, don't this stuff. steal more than you can carry right, right. Yeah. when you're drunk well, he, he and you had just, that this travel is, backpack <laughs> that's true. the work backpack, yeah, the work yeah, backpack. The work backpack. So you don't know how much stuff you can fit into a work backpack oh my god true uh, following the burglary Blodorn <laughs> reportedly caught an Uber to take him home along with the stolen items the criminal complaint stated that Five some stars. of Blodorn's now is the Uber driver then an accessory to the crime yeah the wheel man the, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. baby, driver. baby driver that's his baby mm-hmm. driver there he is uh, Blodorn's thefts were caught on surveillance video inside the stadium obviously yeah, yeah no there's yeah. gonna be a camera. In this. Someone the- saw this guy walking around. Oh yeah, let's see yeah. what he takes. While detectives, we'll get it back. We'll get it back. We're at the crime scene. Blodorn's roommate called police and told them that he had returned home early on September 9th with a duffel bag full of Brewers. Remember told you, me? not a friend. Wait, the roommate ratted him yes. out. Yes, roommate ratted him out. Surprise! Yes. Was the roommate's father? <laughs> roommate's father, because you're never safe with the truth. <laughs> the majority of the items were recovered. At Blodorn's apartment. The majority of them. The majority. Where the other about the keys go? to the Arizona facility? That's in the Uber. <laughs> it's still in the that. Uber. The Uber drives there. I'm not going to pay you, but if you're ever in Arizona, if convicted, how many years can he face in prison? Oh, mm. I, I mean, well, this is, they gonna, max it out. This isn't what you're going to end yeah. up at. I know, but just I'm 20 go years. With the number of dresses in my favorite movie, 27 <laughs> years. Uh, I'm going to say uh, 10 years in prison. All right. If convicted, you can face up to 12 years and oh, okay. six months in prison. 12 How? years and six months. Again, is it, just say 12 and a half years. Yeah. 12 and a half years. So he could face 12 years in prison, period. Hey, they gotta, also, also he face, face six, six months more in, prison. Months in prison. They got a word count Who's writing here? this? They got a word uh, count. Leave him alone. How big of a fine? Let, we'll get out of here on Okay, this. final thing. And then, and, then I'll, and then we'll guess his age. Oh, all right. Well, let's do the I have 15K. I'm going to guess 
in thousands the number of dresses in my favorite 27, 20, 27, yeah, 27, okay, I love it uh, I'm gonna say 20 grand 20 grand get your answers in Scott Ackerman is closest $25,000 there you go oh, finally paid off how old we'll your, love of, here on your this. love of how, Catherine how old Heigl. is this person how old is Justin Blodorn I mean if you don't say 27 I don't know what he's got a roommate he's going to a double header uh, he obviously didn't have to work that God, day this is tough who is this guy say years. you're now a parent look this could happen in your life your kid could get drunk fall in the bushes he has a roommate and his stuff. roommate still hangs out with his father so well that's not his relationship with his own dad I know, that's but his, I mean I don't know how old his roommate ratted on him do you want to, I know you if if this were you and someone else is reading the story you would want this guy to be 62 of course but okay. I know that's not true I'm gonna guess somewhere between 26 and 28 uh, probably you say 27, 27. I'm gonna say 27 yeah, and I didn't think you were going to go there. I'm going to say he's 31 years old. I'm going to say he's 21 years old. 21 year old. Get your answers in. Okay. Closest once again is Scott Ackerman, 25 years old. Oh, oh there you go. Well done, there you go. That's story, story number, number one. one. So if he Down saved a thousand dollars every year that he was alive, he could he pay, could the, pay fine. the fine. That's yeah. it. And he, could. and he probably has. And you never he probably. Know. I hope he has. I've I'd like to. I would like to do around. that. Save a thousand dollars every year. Even when I'm a baby, just yeah. somehow thousand dollars. <laughs> Figure out a way to get a thousand dollars and it, save it. It's easy when you're a baby because like people are. What are you going to spend it on? Friends are giving gifts. Sure. What are you sure. going to spend it on? What are you going to waste your money on? And by the way, you can sell all this memorabilia and put a thousand and let it. Okay. Anyway, I love it. Right. Story number one down the bus. When we come back, we're going to find out about uh, the new book that Scott Ackerman is somehow behind. Somehow he's behind this book. Behind. What is this book that we're hearing about? Sounds very we'll shady. Tell though. you about what all this other it? stuff. The all book right, he's behind. Let's take a break. We'll come back with more Dumb People Town and Scott Ackerman right after. This. Hey, Townies, welcome back to the show. Uh, before we get into story number two, uh, and before we get into Scott Ackerman's book, uh, we have some comedy dates coming up where you can come see us. Yes, um, I don't know if this will be coming or dropping before or after we're in Minneapolis. If it's before on Minneapolis on uh, May uh, 18th, 19th, 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 20th, 20th, we'll be at the Acme Comedy Company, which is one of our favorite great places club. to play yeah. great I bet club. we'll get this out right away and so then we'll uh, up pretty soon yeah and, and then we got uh um we're doing another night of our show tag it at uh at the um comedy store on june 14th that's the belly room that sold out before uh the night of which was place so I good first did comedy the, you, is that where you first the did belly room? The belly yes. room it's hey a wonderful now. place to do comedy hey now i actually love the room for this show tag it which I don't know if you've ever heard this show that we do, but our comedian friends do their sets while they're doing their set. Jay and I are off to the side writing really tags. Fun. We it, come up on I, I'll, I'll probably, if I'm in town, I'm going to come watch. Dan, hey, Dan you were be great on it. On it. You yeah. were great. He Again? did it. He did oh, the yeah, first already one. Did the show. He did the first Fuck you, one. Dan. Get out of here. Uh, this is a one and done situation. I it's a one so. and done, Dan. We got to spread yeah. the love. Uh, all our dates are at supersclars.com. Daniel, what about you, sir? Go to danielvankirk.com. Irene, too, and I have a show every other Monday at the Cat's Crawl. You can uh, come and see that. And then. Um, are we doing it this Monday? If this is before the 8th, okay, you bet fine. your ass there you, you are. All right. As we're oh, as of today? Yes, yeah. you are doing it next Monday night. Okay, good to know. Yeah. Uh, uh, good to know. Everything else has nothing to do, no bearing on what's, what we're saying right here, but there you go. Right. And then also uh, check my dates for stuff. I'm, I'll be around this summer. Dana Van Kirk, stuff coming up. Uh, Scott Ackerman, the new book. Let's talk about it. It yeah. is a book completely about Dianetics. Is that correct? Yeah, you know, <laughs> I, the, the whole lore behind Dianetics. You felt like it was not written the correct way. The book is like, called Science Tology. Yes, Science Tology. Science Tology. Science Actually, theology. theology. It's about a character named Science Theology. <laughs> science um, Theology. Who has low T, right? My name is Lori is Science T Theology. <laughs> um, he becomes for, clear finally. <laughs> for real, though, because I haven't got my hands on it. Is this yeah. essentially the Bible of Comedy Bang Bang? No, it's okay. So it's Comedy Bang Bang, the podcast, the book. Mm. Yeah. And uh, when the publisher pitched it to me, I kind of thought they were like pitching like a handbook or yeah. like bios and stuff like that or, or a episode Compendium. list. Compendium. Yeah, and that wasn't really interesting, but no, they wanted me to do a thing which is more like the characters on the show submitting pieces for the book. I right. love that. So Phenomenal. it's all of the comedians who are on the show all the time, Paul F. Tompkins, Lily Sullivan, Andy Daly, all these people, Bobby Moynihan, all these people have written uh, pieces for the book. and so it's like As a, their characters. As their characters. Right. So it's sort of like a collection of posters and games mm -hmm. and like weird uh business cards and and lists and all oh, sorts of stuff so yeah. phenomenal. and phenomenal. this does it if i remember correctly mm -hmm. um isn't it a, do, you're doing a really fun thing up top where it's like 
the forward to the forward, the rebuttal of the prologue. Yes, there's the forward is by Lin Manuel Miranda. Amazing. Rebuttal to the forward by Weird Al Yankovic. Yeah, amazing. He basically, just makes fun of Lin Manuel. I love it. <laughs> um, <laughs> and the mistakes he made in uh-huh. it. <laughs> That's um, great. Uh, and then uh, forward to the preface, preface to the forward, like all the yeah, all these it's different. Brilliant. Yeah, it's so brilliant. great. It's like I if it. I mean, it's it's wonderful because you're like if comedy bang bang did a book. That's it. Or did, was it weirdly book. enough? Yeah. How would we do this, and how would yeah. it be? And it's if you love the TV show and you love the podcast. Where, where do people go to get it? People can get it anywhere: uh, Amazon, Barnes and Noble. All, you know, anywhere you get books. I but, do uh, believe it's pronounced Amazon. Amazon. But, Sorry, yeah, right. Amazon. Get, get in the zone. Get in the zone. Amazon. Uh, that is their theme song. What's best? Where's the best place you want people? Doesn't to matter get to it? me. Okay. okay. Yeah, get it wherever you want. Get so, it where you want. Are you doing any dates this year? Uh, no, I just did some for the book uh, yeah. to open, and I'm probably going to take the rest of the year off, okay. uh, but who knows? I don't okay. Know. Those are great shows yeah. when you guys do it. Thank Phenomenal you. and fun shows, and of course, listen to the podcast, subscribe to it, enjoy it. Podcast is every week, and cbbworld.com is out there, which uh, is the subscriber Patreon where mm-hmm. people can sort of, like, if you're just listening to Comedy Bang Bang, you're not getting all the extra stuff, which is like all the characters have their own shows and all sorts yeah. of stuff. So. I love Come it. On. All right, love fantastic. It. And our Patreon love too. We should mention that to our fans. Yes, oh we have gosh. a Patreon as well where we do extra stuff. It is a competition. <laughs> it is a competition. Okay. competition. It's in a competition with the CBB. Right world. now we're in second. Uh, we oh. need to. We now this is called CBD World. Oh, it's a very nice. different thing. Right. No, it's uh, it, you get the Patreon. It's we get extra stories and extra things and extra content. It's five all bucks for you. Are you if guys you dig ready this, for this? You get more of it. Yeah. Are we ready for my Let's story? I'm so excited. My story was sent in by our good friend Carlene McDermott. She sends a lot in at CBD Carlene. Fantastic. Fantastic uh, handle. You ready for this? Yeah. And this is one of those stories. It's one of those Reddit stories where we have to decide who is who the asshole. Think is the asshole. Like who mm. along the way are we? And I'll check in with you periodically and say, all right, Scott, whose side are you on now? And then it's okay. more. So for anybody who doesn't know on Reddit, there's a thread where people tell their own story with am the big the question. Asshole? Am I the, am I the, the asshole? asshole? And you have there to are decide. times they where they usually are. They, <laughs> yes. The fun <laughs> thing is, is when it starts out, that they what definitely are. asshole here? It starts out when they definitely are, and then by the end, you're like, well, maybe you aren't. I like when it changes. I like when it changes. What am I? Who is this? Who is this? What am I? The asshole? All right. All right. Hit it. Groom threatens to cancel wedding. Are we on? (laughs) Whose side are we on now? Well, I don't know yet. After brides suggest their dogs marry each other. (laughs) Okay. She's nuts. Suggest. But uh, so far, during think, the wedding, she suggests this. Uh, either way, it, well, before the wedding, if maybe. you consider your dog your child, then she wants a brother and stepbrother and stepsister to Hang on to a second, marry. which Let's is get legally this. fine because it goes in up. so many directions. A groom claims he's now considering calling off his wedding Wait, altogether. He's considering it. Come he's, on, come on. He's write emotional. The article, write an emotional the article terrorist. when he's done it or hasn't <laughs> yeah, exactly. done it. Call, <laughs> Why are we checking who this Call me when the place has been rebooked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, altogether, after his. So far, he's the asshole. By the way, because yeah, this is a little much. Well, he goes to the press when he's just considering. Yes, yeah, just his considering way. it. It yeah, might be. The, it might be the journalist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who do you think wrote this? I don't know. So far, just based on that, do you think he is wondering if he's the asshole or she? His father, I think. There we'll you see. go. Right. I love that. <laughs> and the roommate's father is going to be giving the bride away. <laughs> Just know. So weird. He's the asshole to me. She's not. He considers her his. <laughs> Keep going, Ran. <laughs> so she. Would be I'm with you. <laughs> All right. A groom is now considering calling off his wedding altogether after his fiance and her best friend revealed their plans to, quote, marry their dogs to one another at the actual ceremony. So this is... Okay. This Wait, hold on. His the dog. wife is saying, hey, when we get married, I want, you know you know my friend Kelly? Yeah, who's well, our, thing, our dog our dogs and her dog get love married each other. too at that same ceremony. Look, that is wild. <laughs> also, have the wedding you want, right? You want to have a goddamn <laughs> rent for a wedding? I don't I care. Don't but both people need to be into Except it. Except for a red wedding. He's That's just looking fun. for a reason. According uh, to yeah, he doesn't want to be. With according him. to this mm. exasperated man, oh, so now maybe he did write it. This is, I mean, this is the journalist, by the way. Like, <laughs> yeah, this right. is someone who wrote it's a story a about lot of opinion. Into yeah, it. exactly. It's like, did the guy say I'm exasperated? No. Then you can call him. Exasperated. This is somebody who wrote a story about a Reddit post. Right. right. Yeah, exactly. That's according right. to this exasperated man, again, exasperated man, one of my favorite Smith songs. <laughs> sure. Yeah. His bride to be oh, just an exasperated man. <laughs> That's uh, eerily good. And her maid of honor, Abby, have long planned to hold a, quote, doggy wedding ceremony between their dogs and their future husband's dogs. 
This is what the so, two best friends said. When we, right. when you get married, we're going to have a dog wedding. This makes sense if Abby's getting married at the same... It's like an MGM double wedding, you know, right. at the end sure. of Guys and Dolls or whatever, right. where right. it's right. like, mm -hmm. okay, Abby is getting married and her best friend, are, but they're and both Jessica's getting married. getting and married, and, and yeah. then we're going to marry the dogs, the dogs too. Then it's and cute, the, but that's the final it doesn't scene. sound like Abby is close to getting married. No. Also, okay. well, she's close to someone who is getting married. Do it right. at the rehearsal dinner. You really want to deal that, with this, Dan. You really want to yes. deal with this logistical Dan, such a great day of your own life. Also, dog priest. You got to bring this dog priest in and deal with that. Who is the dog priest? A priest that is a dog. No, a, you got, pre, right. a human priest human who priest just from, deals with who officiates only I dog officiate only dog things, yeah. but they're dressed like a Saint Bernard. <laughs> Here's dog confessions. Mm -hmm. Bork, bork. Dog yeah. confessions. <laughs> All right, <laughs> have planned to have love doggy man. All right, as he doesn't have any dogs of his own, however. Uh, not being much of a quote dog person himself, I can't believe oh, that wasn't getting, a non-starter. Yeah, why, why is he getting married to why, this woman exactly. anyway? She has a dog. She's a dog. The person. two pals, meaning Abby and Jessica, yeah. okay, quickly began gushing about how cute it would be to include both of their pets in the upcoming wedding. Abby's kind of stepping in here a little too far, in yeah. my opinion. Abby, this isn't your wedding. You can't now bring your dog into their wedding. Yeah, but it's probably just I would be mad. I, as, as a groom, I would be mad. I would be mad. Yeah. This isn't or, his... Or I would hold... This is why this guy's an idiot. Marriage is all about who's holding the capital at so, that moment. So, okay. Let her have the dog wedding, and then you go, you know so what? Now I'm kind marriage of so is about who's holding the capital <laughs> yes, at that, that moment? moment? What a romantic you are, Jay. Yes. Jason's in succession. <laughs> so listen to this. <laughs> Who has the upper hand? Right. So this isn't his sort of thing at all. But he <laughs> listen to the guy. He initially agreed to keep Jessica happy, presuming she'd just want the dogs there with them at the altar. Which I'm I think cool. a lot of people I, I, do. My dog was uh, was led up to See? our altar Fine. on yeah. the wedding. Sure. Yes. And then sacrificed and then at the altar. Yes. Very very that was very That was very odd. I, I don't know why you did Shot that. Shot in the head Sacrific execution style. Oh my why? God. Scott, <laughs> we're going to get letters on that. <laughs> Unfortunately, it soon emerged Abby and Jessica wanted a full-blown wedding ceremony for their booches. When, when the is that happening? Where? I don't know. In between the vows? At what point? In, in the, the wedding, vows, vows, with, Dan. with entire parts of the reception dedicated to their pet's friendship. So now I'm feeling like mm. Jessica's just getting married so she can have a wedding so that they can finally have the wedding they really want, which is between wedding their for dogs. The dogs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right? Also, the dogs have not consented to this. None of hundred percent not. Yeah, maybe the maybe the dogs you want to marry. Maybe that's not this dog. Maybe yeah, they want exactly. a civil union. They don't want to be yes. tied down by law. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Talking Maybe they don't even want a big wedding. These dogs are going to get it annulled in a week anyway. So <laughs> this is such a uh, such a, uh, a, a exercise in futility. Well, I think Jessica and David are going to as well. Talking to Reddit, where he goes by the username you slash need help superb cookie. Okay, now I, now I don't I, like yeah, him at all. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. For just to hear he's on Reddit, like, yeah, is bad enough. <laughs> well, honey, <laughs> honey, come to bed. What are you doing? I'm, I'm letting just strangers decide how I feel about our relationship. <laughs> is that weird? So sorry. I'm so sorry. Is that a, a weird yeah. moment? All right. So the the groom. I'm not going to give his age. We'll guess it. <laughs> Shit like puppy pictures, slideshow, a cake for them. Dog friendly favor bags. Oh, this bags. is what he wrote. Yeah. Dog okay, friendly favor you... bags because they want their friends and their family to bring their dogs too. This is a goddamn oh, no, dog no, no, run no, right no, here now. Damn it. No. I told them no. And then I already made one compromise on the issue, and I don't want a bunch of dogs around for an entire wedding well, I'm gonna tell you this. and reception. And if they did that, we'd have to find an all new venue probably. Well, no Just shit. Being no matter what venue you get, you're going to lose the deposit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I reminded her that she was near the limit of what she could contribute towards our wedding funds. Oh, and I'd be go. paying the tally. rest. The now we got there. a tally yeah. going. All right. And I'd be paying the rest. And I don't want to pay extra stuff for a bunch of dogs, is what he said. Mm -hmm. They both said that this was really important to them. So I told Jessica, point blank. He said it to her. He said, point blank. We can stick to what we originally agreed to, or she and Abby could have their costly party. See that? He didn't have to go He, that he wants to throw yeah. in how expensive it is. That allows dogs by themselves, and we just get married at the courthouse by ourselves. So he's trying to blow this whole thing up now. Yeah. Huh. He's like, well, well, you just get married in the courthouse. That's fine. Let's let me do tell that. you something. Let's let me... do that instead. Because you want to have the dog wedding? We'll just go to the court, yes. courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> we, you, so you can have the dog house. We're going to go to the courthouse. Yeah. That's probably what I said. Well, I can tell you guys look you dead in the eyes and say, Abby did Point not blank. take this well. Point blank. Wow. Abby did not take this well <laughs> at all. And told Jessica, you know what Abby told Jessica? He was being manipulative and making ultimatums, which he kind of is. 
Yeah, but, y- yeah, but you're, you're allowed to make ultimatums. I don't yeah. know when that got to you. Same. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Just so you know, if you do that, I'm going to blank. Right. Yeah. Yes. We, he's like, I already gave in on this issue and we could walk the dogs to the altar if you want, but like, so yeah. we're not doing, he's like, it's not even my I'm dog. I'm not doing exactly what I say. You're making an ultimatum. Yeah. Right. Even asking her to stay at hers until the groom pulls his head out of his ass. She's like, Abby says, you go stay at my house until the, he, this guy pulls his head out. Mm. Jessica also reportedly feels that he's being selfish, but simply wants the wedding to be about them and not Abby and her pets. That's so, the thing. Abby's not part of this. Well, it's, Abby well, is really inserting herself in this whole yeah. situation. But you, but or Jessica is going. Is not not letting. So, so, so for real, do I'm not want to ask each of you. I'm going to start with you, Jay, and we'll end with Scott here. Who do you? Whose side are you on here? Because there's a lot of stuff in. I'm this. on the groom side. You're on the groom side. I'm 100 percent on the groom side. Why? Because he gave a little. He gave a little, and it's not. They don't. This. This is like. He doesn't want to be on the experimental stage at Dog Cella. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, he wants to be on the main stage. Who's on the main stage? The dogs are on the main stage. Actually, the crazy Snoop Snoop Dog Dog is on the main stage. Great. Three Dog Night. (laughs) Nate Dog Hologram. (laughs) Followed by Pitbull. I mean, it's like. I mean, they're all there. All the the major stars. All my dogs are there. (laughs) And then the Temple of the Dog. Okay. Hologram again. I'm going to wrap it up. Temple of the Dog. Yeah, hologram. Temple of the Dog. I don't mind stealing bread on the mouth. The 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 dog. Dog. I do the hard part. All right, tell me, please, <laughs> Dan, whose Ooh. side are you on? I mean, here's the deal. <laughs> Legitimately, they should be, if they want to be together, right? That's always the first question in any relationship, mm. business or personal. This is just you start out by going, do you want to keep doing this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you, both people say yes, you, they need to they go to They can find a compromise. They just like the writers therapy. and the streamers. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. No. Timely. Um, remember when I told you, remember when Scott said he wanted to retire? <laughs> These are the things contributing to that. Well, our jokes. Um, <laughs> all, quote, Every time unquote. I do this show, I'm like, I want to retire. I should right? end, I should end like this. <laughs> and, you also end go, it all. and you also go, can't believe I put those guys together. Uh, yeah. yeah. Why did I do I, that? A lot. Um, I will go, God damn. She's the asshole, but yeah. he's not. Neither of them are completely in the right. He's, he's not, not budging. He's, he's not, not clean. He's not clean. He's making it harder. But she. But is, I literally think I would go. Is that the wedding you want? To have? That is your ultimate dream. I would go. That is not mine at all. You so would, we can either do these two things separately, right? Or this is all you, and you just tell me when to show up. Oh, you, but right. I am you, not. You tell her. You say, look, you will do this wedding, and we'll do the dog wedding. It's fine. I'm going to go to Burning Man by myself in like two <laughs> weeks. And then who knows what happens? Yeah. yeah I mean, <laughs> but I, I may come I, back. I may not. Yeah, I might not come back. I'm but not, I'm, excited, know, but but I'm like, psyched about our little dog wedding. Yeah. But have fun uh, with the dog Scott, wedding. Scott, who do you, whose side are you on here? What's his Reddit handle? Oh, yeah. <laughs> superb, <laughs> something superb. A13 superb. His Reddit handle cookie. is I'll be going to Vegas you, every Sunday. You slash need help superb cookie. Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> All right. Ah, he's nah. the asshole, according to you. I think he needs to say he, there, there has to be a serious accounting of her relationship with Abby. How, that, what do you owe like Abby They here? want to get married. Right. Or like. Which, go for it. Which go fine. Fine. Yeah, we all feel that I mean, way. it's a sin. Well, it's hey, a sin to we know. <laughs> Once she said, everybody bring their dogs, this is you having a whole other. You're not. That's, it isn't your. It's that's not, a different that's event. Not a wedding anymore. That's no, not a wedding. exactly. Yeah. It's, it's a dog run. It's a yeah, exactly. I yeah. mean, this is where people say like, "What's what are we gonna now?" When people can let be dogs whatever. marry each yeah, other, when dogs marry, like that's the pro, yeah. that's the thing that everybody's worried. about. We haven't about. even gotten to those people. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. Wait, wait, what about you, Rand? I think I I think the guy was the guy gave a little bit by saying like, "We can have the dogs walk up to the altar," and I'm right. totally cool with that. And it can be Abby's dog. And this dog, and we can be like... But isn't that the other deal, too? Because if their dogs are getting married and you're doing it in your wedding, Abby's the one holding her dog. So at some point, all three of you are up there? Know, no, but yeah. so, so, the, so then the priest should say, this is what I would give. I now pronounce you and you two. That's it. That's all you get. And you two dogs. Right. Husband Everyone and here. Except the people that are already married. Like, make it really confusing. Yes. Everyone, here, Everyone except, in the room. Except for the people who are already married, married. or the people who are dating and don't want that level Anyone of Anyone who's been spayed and neutered. Mm-hmm. You <laughs> are married. now pronounce you husband and what, you know, yeah. and then there you go. But yeah. I feel like he gave enough that she needs to so understand. She's got to give a little bit. Are, is this a man and a woman dog? That's uh, important. That, that is a question. <laughs> 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 Scott's about to know. draw a hard line. <laughs> wow, dude. Gay dogs. Wow. Uh, so there you go. That's okay. story number two down in the books. Daniel, do you know what your story's about here? 
don't even remember. Okay, so uh, you, you could do it. All you right, could, so you could it's it's just about a crazy family of four. Oh we yeah, I cr- remember. Crazy family of four. These, are, uh, these people are. Insane. We're gonna bring it on home. We'll bring it on home after this break. Scott Ackerman's with us. He's got a new book. Title of the book is if you want to go get it. Comedy Bang Bang the podcast the book. Comedy Bang Bang the podcast the book. You better go get it. Uh, we'll be right back. Stick around, make a sound. There's more dumb people town. Hey guys, this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Mm-hmm. If you don't know what BetterHelp does, it's about therapy. We are therapy people. My yeah. wife is a therapist. I've been in my own therapy. And I can't tell you how important it is to have that outlet emotionally yep. in your life. And it, it, it's not just for you. It's for the people around you in mm-hmm. your world. To have this objective outside force in your life, helping you examine who you are and finding balance in your Gives life. Gives you that balance, yeah. definitely. Yeah, Dan, as a person, that I've done... I've, done therapy i'm in therapy and having someone that you can talk to i think is the most uh like beneficial thing you can have in your life like a a professional that can help guide you through just people always say ups and downs but really it's just like a constant flow of life and how you manage your health and feel good about yourself better help dan they make it so easy. if you're thinking of starting therapy give better help a try it's entirely online designed to be convenient flexible and suited to your schedule just fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist. And here's what I love. You can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. So you really get to find the person who's right. Oh, for yeah. You. For more balance, you got to find it. Go to BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash DPT today to get 10% off your first month. Mm-hmm. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash DPT. These guys are amazing. Stick around. Make a sound. There's more dumb people town. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. We are back. Uh, Daniel Van Kirk, take Ready? us home. Take show. us home, okay. buddy. Sent in by Megan Laskowski at Soymates for Eva mm-hmm. or okay. Eva. I'm Eva. not sure. <laughs> Eva. Eva Kim. Here's the headline. Family of four all wielding knives stab each other in wild fight. <laughs> now, at least it's fair. I mean, yeah, right. I'm a family of four, so yeah. So are you. Can you imagine if everybody walking around your house just had a knife? I mean, this is why you get, get a suite when you go on the road. On the hotel <laughs> how does it get to this point? Right. How does it get to this? Everyone point? has a knife to the other person's throat. Is it like no, one of those? They're, 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 no, no, no. Did it start with someone saying like, "Hey, I have a knife," and the other person going, "That's not a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually a knife. That's this is knife. actually right. a knife." It is, Paul. The Dund- it is the Dundee family. <laughs> it is the right. okay. Got it. Paul Hogan. Four family members. A mother, father, brother, and sister were all stabbed during a fight at their Texas home yeah. on brand. Okay. I mean, yeah. it, it is open carry of knives in Texas. Sure. Yeah. Deputy with the Harris County, I believe that's where Houston is, mm-hmm. Harris County Sheriff's Office responded to a call around 10.50 p.m. It feels too early. Right. And too late. A yeah. knife fight of for a whole... Yeah. 10.50? This is what are we watching on TV time. Most families, by the way, are either asleep or they're... Going to sleep. Still, they're still wide awake. Yeah. And this is still you know in I mean? the good time. Like, we haven't yeah, even got yeah, to midnight. Yeah, exactly. Like, 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 my family, we're all asleep at this time. Yes. Right. But then the people who stay up late... This is the, everyone's. They're fine. They're, they got like two more hours. Dinner at this point. Right. Yes. We're, we're cleaning up dinner at ten yeah. fifty. Yes. yes, exactly. Looks like someone brought a knife to a knife fight. Or they someone. said to each <laughs> other. <laughs> they all. Me Looks to your left. Looks yeah. to your right. <laughs> <laughs> two of these people have knives. <laughs> so do you. If no. everyone has a knife, at I wonder each other. if one person didn't. It was like, hold on, hold on, hang hold on, hang on. on. Hang right, on she's got to get her knife. She's got to get her knife. Let her get her knife. Let your sister get her knife. She's at a. That's a butter knife, honey. What are you doing? We <laughs> all have sharp ones. They responded to the call around 10:50 p.m. on July who 24th called? about a family disturbance at a home on Regional <laughs> Park Drive. Say who, who called? called? Yeah, who? Which of them called? Yeah, who which did them call? Called it in? Yeah. Or a neighbor? It's like they're at it again. No, you know what? They're foreign exchange student. Yes. Who was like, oh my god, oh Jesus, I can't believe I came from Croatia. Right. Also, can you imagine that call? A uh, person with a knife. How many? All of them. All of us. All of them. Yeah. We all do. Uh, all regional, of us. <laughs> regional Park Drive, about 16 miles north of downtown Houston. Mm-hmm. That's probably like somewhere around Conroe. I know my area. Maybe the Woodlands. <laughs> yeah. uh, Sheriff Ed Gonzalez said in a tweet, the fight started between two adult siblings. Oh boy. So that's how okay. it starts. Who are A brother and a sister. Home. The brother came home that night intoxicated. Of course. And armed, he and his sister and <laughs> got into a heated argument, which turned physical. He was a t- he. Was Astros are cheating. No, they're not. Well, <laughs> he was disarmed during the struggle. Gonzalez said, and the mother and father stepped in, attempting to break things up. Hey, 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 hey! Like with <laughs> yeah. knives. So no one has knives at this point. Because he, he does. He, he was, no, he was disarmed. He was disarmed. So, so no one has a knife. I'm just no. tracking knife usage. Sure, 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 sure. Okay. There is so, no knife. Yeah. So the so no one has a knife. 
mother and father step in to to, to deal with their right. adult children. Right. Okay. Got it. <laughs> You're like, I, I'm so happy. I don't have to break up fights between you anymore. Yeah. You guys are adults. You guys are adults right. now. And also, it's in quote, break things up, which mm-hmm. means they did later when the cops they were got here, for this. they're holding knives, being like, we're trying to break it up. Right. But you're now making it worse. But the violence only escalated, and each family member grabbed a knife as the night went on. Or fight went on. Both, actually. The night and the The fight. The night and the fight. When deputies arrived at the home, they found all four members of the family had been stabbed. Oh, my God. I know. did, Did everyone get one in? Or did like one guy stab three Every, and, and then, everyone else did like a murder they, on the Orient Express <laughs> to the other person? <laughs> I that bet would be they the don't even know. Yeah. I mean, huh. I guess you could get a forensic person to be like, well, yours is a Cutco <gasps> knife and yours is a this this is like oh, rated CSI. edge. Yeah. <laughs> Scott, you called it. Really? Everyone survived, Gonzalez added. Sure. The brother, Manuel Alfredo Gutierrez, mm-hmm. was arrested. He did on the three charges the of aggravated city. assault. So he must he have stabbed, stabbed everybody. everybody. And himself? <clears throat> no, because he only got three charges. Right. So, <laughs> so <laughs> someone else got him Wait, back. You can, you can get charged for stabbing you yourself? Said, oh. Yes. Could you? Self-inflicted wound? I yeah, know. you probably can. Three okay. charges. We'll get out of here on this. Dan, I want there, there to be a Black Eyed Peas song about this. Tonight's, well, tonight's gonna, gonna be a knife be night. A knife fight. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, all right. Well, here, we'll leave it real quick. How old do you think Manny Gutierrez is? Now, the man who's been three counts of stabbing. He came, he home, came drunk. home drunk. He started this he night. He came fight. home drunk. Him and his sister, I assume, all they both live still with his parents. Adults live in. Everyone with. grabbed a knife, which hmm. means they either had one or well, they're they hidden knew around where the to house. Get one. I'm going to take a stab in the dark. Okay. <laughs> at, at Sklar Brothers. I'm going to say 21 years old. Okay. Oh, he's freshly minted. Adult. I have a feeling you I think know 21 where Scott's going to go with this. But if he's drunk, you also got to factor in he's drunk and getting home at 10.50-ish. 21. That's when the call happens. 21. So. I'm going to go with probably the amount of dresses <laughs> in my favorite <laughs> film yeah. when I've see it twice and i'm gonna say 54. Oh. Oh. so you're that. saying the parents are like 78 yeah. <laughs> and he's, yes. okay fine. these adult uh, children are still for some reason the them being 78 makes me think they challenged him <laughs> stab me motherfucker let's yeah. do this let's go like so they're more have, I'm, ready, I'm ready to see i bleed, I bleed air it. these days uh that's so funny i'm gonna say 33. okay 33 the year of our lord manny alfredo Gutierrez. Gutierrez. MAG. Yes. Also, Scott, thanks for coming by town. Thank you, Scott. Great God, to see you. Everybody should go. Uh, Comedy Bang Bang, the, the podcast, podcast, the, the book. book. Pick it up. Okay. He is 25 years old. Oh. oh 25 year olds out there I doing know. terrible things. Yeah, 25 on a lot of these yeah. things. There you go, guys. Pain that is the show. Thank you, nice. Scott Ackerman. We love you, buddy. And, thanks, guys. Uh, Great oh, to see you. We got to get back to work, guys. Bye bye. Stick around, make a sound, there's more dumb people town.